Packed with Pokemon treasures, two foil cards featuring Single Strike to Pig and Rapid Strike Shinx, five Pokemon TCG booster packs, and much more! Yeah, we're doing the Spring Collector's Chest. Sorry about that cringy intro. Um, I've done one of these in the past. I think it was a fall chest of this last year, the year before. Um, not really made for adults like me. I don't think most Pokemon products are. But this one especially, I kind of just bought something that could have gone to a kid who's going to school, but that's fine. So, of course, I have this little thing on it that I just read off of. But the main feature is, of course, this big old tin, which is very Battle Styles themed, quite obviously. Especially if you look at the back, we have the four cards that are generally... Okay, no, I don't think you're usually used on the front of packs. Maybe I'm wrong, but we can get you as a hollow in here, so it's kind of fitting, I suppose. Also weird that we got two of the three starters on the back, but not three starters. Again, a little weird. But aside from that, it's just a pretty basic tin. You got rapid strike on one side, single strike on the other. More of those boys on the bottom. But let's open up this lunchbox thing. And again... They do a good job at just displaying these. Now, as you can tell, these two giant coins that I didn't realize were going to come in this are supposed to be here. Um, they kind of fell out. But they always present things pretty well at the Pokemon Company. So I guess we'll look at the coins first. So first off, we have the Single Strike coin. These things are giant, by the way. Um, with the Pokemon thing on the back as always. But these are just giant coins. I've always been a fan of the huge coins, even though if I actually played the card game, I probably wouldn't use them. But they're still really cool to have as the collector's thing, which is basically all I really do with Pokemon, so makes sense. We also have our single strike to pig hollow. I don't know why they thought giving us a single strike and rapid strike to pig in Shinx as a hollow would be a selling feature. I mean, maybe, because, like, these are saying that they're just standard cards, they're not promos, but I don't think these two usually come as hollows, so it's probably the only way to get these two as hollows. But at the same time, it's not like, you know, they're anything super special, they're just to pig and shanks. And before we look at the packs that come inside, I would like to point out that it's supposed to have two battle styles, a sword and shield, a sun and moon, and a vivid voltage. Pokemon Company is bad at not actually accurately describing the packs that are going to come in them, but sometimes they are very accurate. So I'm going to try and pull these packs out here and hope that we got a vivid voltage in this. So we have a Battle Styles Vivid Voltage, yes! We have a Sword and Shield Battle Styles and Sun and Moon. They had all of the packs in here that it disclosed. That is sick. Well, there are five. I was doing two, one of the Battle Styles. That is sick. Of course, it comes with the code card. If you guys want it, there it is. Then if we dig a little deeper, we have a uh, big thing of plastic. Um, these appear to just be stickers. They seem to do that in all of these. Not a big sticker person, but you know, it's neat. Um, we also have, let's just flop all that out of there. Uh, more stickers, big old boys. Um, we have a writing pad with the oosh frus there on the bottom. Uh, I don't usually care much for these because they fall apart really easily. Not that I really intended to use it, but you never know if I have a use. So, yeah, it kind of sucks they fall apart so easy. And we have a mini portfolio binder. I don't usually use these that often. In fact, I don't really use them. I have, like, I can't remember what it is. I have e-reader e cards in one of these. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have a use for it one day, but as of right now, yeah, it's just kind of a thing to have. But of course, I didn't buy this for the mini portfolio. I bought it for more chances to get some good pulls. We're gonna save this vivid Volted pack for last. I completely butchered that sentence. We're gonna save that for last, hoping that we can get something good out of it, but mostly because I haven't done vivid Voltage in quite a while. And I don't know, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting a little nostalgic for it. It's been that long, even though it's not like a vintage set or anything. So let's go ahead and pull out our code card, which needs the focus there. We have one, two, three, to the front, we have an energy. And we have the Crawl Dunt, Tower of Waters, Rapid Strike, and Karina's Focus as a all, all, uh, b -b 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 as all of our uncommons. Going on to the Sizzlipede, Glam Meow, Glarian Slowpoke, Yamper. We got the Murkrow Boy, the Toll Jammer as a reverse. I have a billion of these as reverses now. It's like every five packs. And 
Tyranitar V Single Strike. Look at that boy. You're not the alternate artwork that I want, but my god, are you not a bad pull? Look at that freaking Tyranitar Single Strike. I'm also gonna be sleeving anything we get from this with these uh, Venusaur sleeves. If you haven't seen my Venusaur like battle box video, it's not a pre-made deck, um, despite the name. Um, if you've seen that video, you know why I'm using those sleeves for this. Let's do our base set, Sword and Shield. I always appreciate the base sets. They always seem to have some luck behind them, and they always just have some interesting cards in it, because, you know, it's their it's their first showing to the Pokemon fan base of what the next set's going to be like. And in this case, they decided to show us that they don't care about reverses. So, <laughs> let's open this thing up with as little destruction of the pack as possible. I think I'm on a shown part of the code card there. If I did, I'll blur it out for you guys. There's the code card. We got one, two, three to the front. We have our Psychic Energy. Then we have a Mantine, a Dottler, and a Corvusquire. Going on to our Goldeen with some nice artwork, our happy little Yamper, the Skaropi, Klobopus, Wooloo, the sheep everyone got hyped about, Aurora Energy as a reverse. Man, I love getting energies as reverses, especially special energies like the Aurora one. I don't think I have that yet. Maybe I do. But that is a nice little energy there. And on the end, okay. It's not a hollow or anything, but look at that artwork, man. That is awesome. Let me turn my brightness down a little. Look at that artwork. That is really cool. Let's do another battle styles. This pack is kind of beat up and has a lot of air in it. So, uh, hopefully if there's a good card in here, it didn't really get beat to hell and back. I guess we'll just kind of figure that out as we go. Oh wow, we have a single strike to pig. What a rare card. There's our code card. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of our energy. And we have the Rapid Strike fan of Waves, Dewblade, and Dottler as all of our uncommons going on to the Tapig himself. Glamial, Silicobra, Frillish, Houndor as a single strike. Yamper as our reverse. I think I might already have he as one, but it's still a nice card to get as a reverse. And on the end, Lorantis. Always, always Lorantis. Sun and Moon. Another base set and a nice one at that. I Wow, that one's... Wow. wow. Wow, that was a clean open look at that. I might have to blur it because of the code card color reflecting off of the, the silver backing there. Oh my god, well now I can't actually get my finger. Open! Open, you piece of crap. All right, so there is the code card itself. We're going to be doing one, two, three to the front. Get rid of the energy. And we have the Charge of Bug, Rainbow Energy, and Crocoro going on to our Aeolian Ratata, Schnubble, Makuta, our Cutie Fly, Drowsy. We have Switch as a reverse. Again, I miss these reverses. And on the end, we have a Cosmoium. Man, we're not getting the luck. We got the Tartar and that's it. That's all you're going to give the kids buying your 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 spring collector's chest before they go back to school. Well, I mean, school's already a thing, but that's what this was meant for. Like, come on, give them something good to start off the school year. Just put all of your best cards in these collector's chests. <laughs> there is the code card focus. A one, two, three to the front. Get rid of our energy. And with Vivid Voltage... Maybe we'll get something good. So for the uncommons, we have the Hero's Metal, the Galarian Stunfisk, and the Sable Eye. Nice artwork on there. The commons, we have Pineco, Clefairy, Tynemo, Milsery, Galarian Meowth. We have Yan Mega as a reverse. But on the end, we're going to get the Fat Boy, right? We're going to get the Fat Rainbow Pikachu. That's what's going to happen today. I mean, pretty close. You, you're definitely very, very similar. And for your end of video recap, everything that was a reverse or better, folk, yes, we have Yan Mega, the Toll Jammer, Yamper, Switch, and Aurora Energy, not a bad reverse. Then we have our Shinx and our Tapig, which are, of course, guaranteed, like, promos, basically, in this box. And we pulled our Tyranitar V. Definitely, definitely some bad luck 
in this box today. I gotta say though, it was all worth it just to get these coins. I mean, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that tin. I have another one of those. I used to keep like uh, my energies in it, but now my energies I actually use whenever I uh, preserve a pack successfully like this one. What I'll actually do is, you know, you have 10 cards in here along with the code card, so 11 in total. I'll put 11 energies in this pack in order to keep it, you know, like fluffed up and preserve it. And I keep them all in all, like elite trainer boxes. I know it's super nerdy, but I'm going to save the energies anyways. Might as well do that. So yeah, these coins were definitely the highlight of today's video. And it's how we started it off. Plus I love like, you know, you have the shattered foil with this like a wave foil. It's very fitting for the single strike to be like a shattered and very wispy wavy for the rapid strike, which is obviously my preferred one, even though I prefer the color red, I like the rapid strike. He's cooler, objectively. Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We have more crap like this coming constantly. I do two full length videos every week and hopefully I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.